whatever your locating challenges may be, there are some basic wrist techniques that we would like to share using your UAT Underground Utilities Locator. Holding the receiver vertically, select the correct locating frequency based on your application. Adjust the sensitivity using the plus and minus buttons so that the bar graph reading just begins to show some movement. Please note, the sensitivity control should be at or close to maximum sensitivity. Keeping the receiver vertical and in front of your body, walk across the area to be checked, then follow in a grid pattern. Underground utilities perpendicular to the receiver will not be detected, so repeat the grid search after changing the angle of the receiver 90 degrees. The speaker will begin to indicate sound when the meter reading is above full scale approximately 10%. If the reading starts to increase, Carefully move the locator in all directions to detect the maximum signal, using the bar graph to help confirm the correct position. If the bar graph exceeds the maximum value, adjust the sensitivity to bring the reading back within the limits of the bar graph, using the plus and minus buttons. Rotate the receiver on its axis to obtain the maximum signal. This indicates that the receiver is directly over the line and aligned with the direction of the cable. To successfully find the location of a ground fault, Use the optional UAT600 A-frame accessory in combination with the transmitter in direct test lead connection mode. The A-frame, in combination with the transmitter, will pinpoint the place where a cable metal conductor, either a sheath or a metallic conductor, touches the ground. It will also detect other conductors to ground faults, such as pipeline coating defects. Properly set up the transmitter with the test leads. Select either A low, A frame low signal, or A high, A frame high signal. Use A low for higher accuracy pinpointing. Use A high if the line to be surveyed is long or the fault resistance is high. Set the signal strength output to one, only increasing if the resulting signal strength is poor. Turn the unit on and use the left-right indicator arrows to position the A frame over the cable starting near the transmitter. Allow a couple of seconds for the readings as you walk along the rod of the line, placing the spikes of the A-frame in the ground every two or three paces. In proximity of the fault, keep the A-frame aligned with the cable by using the left-right arrows. The A-frame will detect the fault signal and the fault direction compass arrow will point forward. When you cross the place of the fault, the compass will change a direction and the two-digit fault signal level will start decreasing as you move away from the fault. Maximum readings will be just before and just after the fault. Carefully place the A-frame before and after the fault to pinpoint it. Whatever your locating challenges may be, there are some basic techniques that we would like to share using your UAT Underground Utilities Locator. It's painless to locate Underground Utilities using only the UAT receiver in power mode. The receiver will easily and accurately trace the positions of all energized utility cables buried up to 100 feet deep. The receiver will also trace underground metallic utilities, such as pipes, energized and de-energized cables, using the receiver in radio mode. Please note, in both passive modes, the transmitter is not required. You can also use the receiver in induction mode by inducing a 33 kilohertz signal into the ground using the transmitter. The 33 kilohertz signal will enable the receiver to locate multiple utilities fast. The most accurate way to pinpoint a utility location using your UAT600 is to apply a signal directly from its source either to the test leads or signal clamp. Simply set the receiver to match the transmitter frequency, either 8 or 33 kilohertz. The receiver will only detect a signal from the individual cable connected to the transmitter's leads or clamp. To successfully find the location of a fault, use the UAT600 optional A-frame accessory in combination with the transmitter in direct test lead connection mode. <laughs>